guys, today we're going to be unboxing a Star Wars set. It's for nine year olds and plus. It's Boba Fett's Starship. It comes with two figures, Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. This ship, this is, they're from the TV show, The Mandalorian or the Book of Boba Fett. It has its stand, and this is a place to put the carbon knight. It can shoot lasers. It has its own stand, and you can put it in this position, like it's flying up in the sky. Let's start. Let's open up the box. Here we have the bags. Here are the stickers. This is the manual guide to build. It comes in four bags. Now that your starship is all completely built, here the last piece, there. Now your starship's completely built. Here are the minifigures. This is Boba Fett's face. He has the face details and also a few scars at the back. Now let's get his top. Put him here, but you can also put him with his jetpack. I'm going to do with his jetpack. There we go. Now, his pants, here he is. He also has a helmet, a gun, and this piece. It's like a little navigation or communication add-on. You, uh, you can put it at the side of his helmet. Or on this side, it doesn't matter which side as long as you put it. And you can even choose whether or not to put it. Here we have Boba Fett. Let's put his blaster on, his gun. Next, the Mandalorian. Trousers, shirt. He has a cape. And his head has uh, no details, no printing, nothing. It's just a nice black spear here. And it com he comes with a spear. Spear, spear. <laughs> now, he also comes with this tiny gun. He has two weapons, gun and spear. There. Then his helmet, you of course you can put add-ons onto it, but you don't have to. Let's compare the two. Oops. Let's compare the two. Here, the helmet, Boba Fett has more detail and more color than the Mandalorian's helmet. And of course they have the same inputs inside. Then the face, they definitely are different than the face. Mandalorian has nothing, but Boba Fett has the back side and the front. Weapons, they both have guns, but the Mandalorian has a spear, jetpack, then cape, and the Mandalorian has back details, and so does Boba Fett but they're often covered by their jetpacks or for the Mandalorian by his cape. Mandalorian and Boba Fett both have arm details 
And these are both really rare fig minifigures in Star Wars. The Mandalorian is a little less rare than Boba Fett. Boba Fett has some details on his toes, but uh, the Mandalorian doesn't. Now, let's put their helmets back on and they can sit next to their weapons over here or lie down. Here we have the Ga Gamorian guard and he's in the carbonite. Okay, now there's a little compartment in the build. See up here, that little compartment you can put up and down. Now let's, now let's put him inside. He got carbonated. Boba Fett and the Mandalorian are both bounty hunters. They get, they're like superheroes, but they get paid to be it, to do it. Then here are the shooters. I do not want them flying all over the place and getting lost. So I'm gonna put my hand over it, but Whoa. almost did fly all over the place. Now let's put it back. Here are some fake guns. They're just fake blasters for decoration and detail. Then, as you can see, here are the wings. They move when you touch them, but not only when you touch them. Now it's lying down, okay? But if I flip it up, it's still facing to the sky. It's not like facing that way. See, it's moving to the sky like it's a program. Now I put it back down. Here is the cockpit. In you can, there you can put Boba Fett. Oh, you can put Boba Fett. It's best to do him without the helmet or his jetpack and with his hands in the front. You can put him like this, or other than that, it, you can put him down, but it is gonna be a little trickier to fit him in there. But if you try, you can. Just need to fit him in there. There we go. Now he's kind of like, we're in danger, high altitude. And here you have this little piece. If it pops off, you just need to fling it in there. Let's get Boba Fett out of there. Boba Fett has a pretty serious face. Like, but now he has his helmet on and we have to put his jetpack on first. Helmet and jetpack. There we go. Now, I'll show you how it can, you can hold it. Of course, the wings, you can hold them in that specific way, but it's best to be careful with it. Then you can always open this up and hold it from there, but you do have a risk of the gar Garmorian guard to fall off, or you could just have it down and hold it that way. Same. You can, of course, hold it like this or like that, but there's also a handle over here. You pull that out. The handle is pretty sturdy. It's, you can make it jump around. It's really stu sturdy. Now, let, I'll show you this. It's a little, it's like a little hovering car to change to change things to transport them. You can put the Mandalorian in, but it's best without the cape because you don't want to ruin it. Then, after you put the cape and the helmet, whether you want it or not, you put him over here, standing, and you can move his hands and also the levers toward each other 
to make it look like he's really holding it. But a little up and this arm also a little up. So yeah, now the Mandalorian's holding it. You can put the Garmorian guard in, in carbonite in there to transport it. Or you could also put the whole ship without having to do that. Put it down. All right. See at the bottom of the ship, there's this area. Opposite to it is over here. You put this in front of the two triangles. Then this green little square and these two for one blocks put them in the middle it's not that sturdy when you move when you touch it it starts to wobble a bit but it's still pretty good then you can also put boba fett in it while it's in this position you don't even have to have the mandalorian driving it it's just something to make it look nice Put Boba Fett in, and let's close it. There you have it. This is Boba Fett's starship from Star Wars. Bye!